2024 time to ditch the victim mindset and bring on the victory mindset. This is March 1999 and I was in deep despair, deep depression, suicidal every day. I had fibromyalgia, I'd been diagnosed. Know that you can get on the other side of it. Know that there is healing available and that to stay the course, that's where the real magic is. When we're in this victim mindset, we just have to stay the course until we walk through to the victory. So the problems were actually in my head. The problems were in my thinking. The way I started to change my life is to change my thinking. That was the first step. The mindset, if we can just walk away from victim mindset and it takes reprogramming of the brain and it all started with just changing my thoughts. The thoughts I entertained every day it didn't happen overnight. And so my whole life has changed by changing my thinking. And now my thinking is creating my reality, my joy, my authenticity, my strength. And it all started with changing my thoughts. So all these programs sit in the subconscious mind and until we start to look at them, until we start to bring them into the light, they stay there. They're not in the conscious mind. We're actually consciously choosing something different. Voice creates. So we're actually consciously choosing something different instead of the subconscious programs that run in the background like the old movie. The work is in us. The work is in us choosing something different for our lives. The work is in us giving up the victim thinking and going for the victory thinking instead. If you're in the situation where you're finding yourself having repeating experiences, repeating thoughts that are negative, repeating thoughts about lack of money, repeating thoughts about poor me, why does this always happen to me? Repeating thoughts about anything, my body hurts, my body aches. I just encourage you to have a look at your thoughts, become conscious of your thoughts and the choices that you're making and start to see how they're creating your life. And then when you can actually see what your thoughts are creating, it's way more motivation to actually change them. The persistence, it's the diligence, it's the journey that actually grows our character. And also the celebration that comes when you realize that you think in a completely different way. And then your life starts to reflect your change in thinking. When you think better, your life gets better. Hi everyone, we're open here holding space for beautiful souls that are seeking healing, seeking relaxation and seeking to let go of past baggage, emotional pain, physical pain and mental pain. And if you would like some help to change your mindset, to shift some blocked energy, we're open. You can check out my page, check out the link in the profile and book your appointment today. So I've been on this huge declutter. I feel like I've been on it forever. I had some boxes still in the shed that I hadn't touched, that I had allowed the busyness of life to allow me to forget about. And I decided that I wanted to rearrange everything to put more gardening gear in there. And I found all these boxes. And as I was going through, I, it's been such a gift to actually do that because I found all this old, you can see how yellow it is, this old paperwork. And in the process too, what's been really healing for me, because I've been here, let me see, 11 years, what's been really healing for me is looking at the person that kept all that stuff and who I am today and seeing the huge shifts and changes of the journey I've been on. So I tabled this live 2024 time to ditch the victim mindset and bring on the victory mindset basically because that's what I've done in my life. And what I'm going to share here with you is actually notes I made to see a counsellor back in this is March 1999. My son would have been six and I was in deep despair, deep depression, suicidal every day. I had fibromyalgia, I'd been diagnosed and just in reading this I 
just like look back and I think I don't know how I survived it. There was divine intervention there for sure to keep me and my knowledge of the spirit world and knowing I'd have to just boomerang back if I took my own life. So it was a daily battle to just tell myself it's not worth it and to keep the journey going. And I, at that stage, I didn't have a lot of the tools I have now. I hadn't developed them and I certainly wasn't practicing them. And I also didn't have any space in my head. My head was a very busy head back then. So I thought I'd just read you this to give you some idea. And I was a single mum and have been a single mum for 28 years. And so having only one child was actually more difficult from my perspective. I never had any more, so I don't know. I, I hear families say when, when you have more children, they fight. <laughs> so that's a downside. So I would have a lot of other people's children. Plus I was a people pleaser. So I was constantly looking after other people's children in my own home to give my son playmates, but also to give myself some headspace. So I've made these notes. If I'm not working, I'm looking after my son. I have no life. There's never any time for me. These thoughts just keep running through my head time after time after time. I have to take sleeping tablets, six sleep easy tablets to get to sleep. And then after a couple of hours, I wake up at the slightest sound, my neighbour walked around the path last night with thongs and the sound of the thongs scraping on the cement woke me up. Now I sleep like a horse. <laughs> Nothing wakes me now. I'm so grateful for access bars and how it's changed my sleeping. Then someone started a car and I woke up again. And I just can't, reading this, it just, it, it's like reading the novel of somebody entirely different. I just can't believe it. The reason I'm sharing it with you is if you're having any of these thoughts, know that you can get on the other side of it. Know that there is healing available and that to stay the course, that's where the real magic is. When we're in this victim mindset, we just have to stay the course until we walk through to the victory. So I've written it it's not okay, I'm dying. I feel my body and my spirit dying. I go through daily routine, only task orientated. The only thing that motivates me to go to work is the number of bills I can pay off this week. I long for a weekend away without my son to relax, but money, lack of it, and guilt and abundance of stop me from getting there. So not only did I have victim mindset, I had so much lack. I had so much lack, I couldn't see any abundance in my life at this time. So, and it just goes on, I'm believing that if I got away, but of course I take my head with me. I would take my head with me everywhere I go. So the problems were actually in my head. The problems were in my thinking. And as one of the mentors used to say, thinking is stinking because we run over these scenarios and these thoughts over and over again. And what that does is it embeds it deeper into our being. And so we're functioning from these thoughts and our thoughts create our reality. So I was just recreating and recreating all of this lack, all of this lack of abundance, all of this lack of joy. And those are very low vibrations on the Hawkins scale of consciousness. So you can see that in this scenario, I was a victim, a complete victim. And I'm not gonna bore you with the rest of the letter. So I wanted to reach out today to people who are struggling with thinking over the past and regurgitating the past and the past hurts and the past separations and the past relationship breakdowns and the past financial breakdowns and the past lack that really the way I started to change my life is to change my thinking. That was the first step. I had done all the body stuff. I would, I, my body was getting good food. I was eating healthy. However, the mindset was making me sick. So I still had all the physical symptoms, even though I was giving myself good food. I had in, and I was moving, I was exercising, I was riding a bike and just the mindset, if we can just walk away from victim
to mindset and it takes reprogramming of the brain so on my youtube channel i have actually got a playlist called called retrain your brain so if you go to my youtube channel and you just tap on playlist and the menu will drop down there are several choices but if you go to retrain your brain there's actually just some short short little videos there so what started to really shift things for me was that simple little mantra that i do in the morning which i still do today is all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory because in that set of notes that i was going to take to the counselor because my my memory was so poor i had to actually write it down to unburden to her what was going on in my life at that time so in unburdening to her i was actually reframing and regurgitating and re igniting all of those problems within my body and so that's what kept me sick so this simple little mantra all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory what does it say it shifts the energy it shifts the energy and you know when i first started saying it it's it i didn't feel it and i i didn't perhaps believe it i just knew if i could change my thinking i could change my life because i had seen other people do it and so that was the first step and then little things like oh my goodness i'm so wealthy oh my goodness i'm so blessed little things like that i would just say even while i was driving and it would change the frequency and the vibration and i look like as i said i'm looking at this letter as i'm doing my declutter and i just cannot recognize the person that wrote well it's uh, notes actually it's notes on points to take to a counselor I look at myself today and I'm like, who was that person? And yet that is real. Like it's my handwriting, it's dated. And so this whole decluttering process that I've gone through and these boxes that I found, which I'm shredding, which the garden gets, cause it's really good for the garden. The worms love it. I'm going through this process of revisiting how much I've changed. And it all started with just changing my thoughts, the thoughts I entertained every day. So by waking up and starting with a positive mantra of all of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory. And other things I say, how's it get any better than this? So I'm just asking the universe, God, to show me how's it get any better than this and that i say whether something beautiful and wonderful happens or whether something awful happens because i'm just asking show me how does it get any better than this and so my brain now looks for all the positive things my brain now looks for all the blessings and that's taken time it didn't happen overnight it you know rep repetition is the mother of skill so we have to repeat things before they become a new pathway so we have these neural pathways and often our programming as we grow up our the way we are the way we think is like a big highway it's like a go-to it's the main road we use and what we have to do is we have to build a new highway and the way we build a new highway highways take time to construct so the way we build it is we repeat it and we repeat it and we repeat it until that becomes our way of thinking. And then what happens is because we're creating this new way of thinking, this new way of thinking actually then eventually, as it is for me today, becomes the highway. So that's my go to. That's how I think that they're the thoughts I entertain now. And so my whole life has changed by changing my thinking. Uh, so yeah, my thinking was stinking and now my thinking is creating my reality, my joy, my authenticity, my strength. I look back and I think, wow, who was that person? I feel so strong today. And it all started with changing my thoughts. So as I was saying, we have these neural pathways that are our go-to, right? They're our highway. We've built them over time. We've we've been programmed with a lot of them because we've observed adults around us as children do or say certain things you would notice oh gee my mum used to say that and it's popped out of your mouth or gee my dad used to do that and it's and you're doing it without really thinking so all these programs sit in the subconscious mind
And until we start to look at them, until we start to bring them into the light, they stay there. They're not in the conscious mind. So when we start to reprogram and start to build a new highway, we're actually consciously choosing something different. We're actually, and choice creates. So we're actually consciously choosing something different, but then our consciousness creates this new highway. And what happens is this highway gets wider and wider and wider and it, it becomes easier and easier and easier to get on this highway, this new highway of thinking positively, thinking abundantly and thinking with your conscious mind instead of the subconscious programs that run in the background like the old movie. And what happens to the old highway is it starts to fall apart. If you've ever seen a highway that doesn't get used, it starts to actually break down, all the bitumen breaks down and little things start to grow, little plants start to grow, little weeds start to grow through the bitumen and eventually it just all gets covered over. So successfully, that's what I've managed to do in my life. And so the work is in us. The work is in us choosing something different for our lives. The work is in us giving up the victim thinking and going for the victory thinking instead. And that takes time. It takes discipline. It takes doing it over and over and over again until it becomes the norm. So they 21 days to build a habit. So if you can do it for 21 days, guess what? You can do it for 42 days. Guess what? You can do it for 84 days. Guess what? You can do it for, what's 2 times 84? 168 days. And it can become your new way of thinking. So you can hop on my YouTube channel. There's affirmation lists there. There's one for money. There's one for love. There's one for healing. There's one for worthiness. I think I there might be more. I, they're the ones I recall. I did them a while ago. YouTube at Beck D Transformation. Playlists, click affirmation loops, and they'll, if you actually just start one in the affirmation playlist, they'll all play one after the other. It's a resource I give to clients. It helps them fall asleep. And what happens when we're in that beautiful theater state, if we play affirmations in the background of something we desire to create, that is a positive affirmation, it will actually then access our subconscious mind because our subconscious mind is the one that runs all the programs. And what happens is the affirmations then can link a new way of thinking. That's what makes affirmations powerful, especially if we repeat them while we're either waking up or going to sleep with that, that twilight state of awake but not awake, asleep but not asleep, that theta state, so that the subconscious mind can be accessed and reprogrammed. Because a lot of us run subconsciously on our programs. I just have this Nelson Mandela quote that says, it always seems impossible until it's done. If you're in the situation where you're finding yourself having repeating experiences, repeating thoughts that are negative, repeating thoughts about lack of money, repeating thoughts about poor me, why does this always happen to me? Repeating thoughts about anything, my body hurts, my body aches. There was a section here where I was saying my body aches every day and, and those were the thoughts I was refeeding myself. So how was I possibly going to heal my body by th rethinking how much my body aches instead of giving it affirmations of you're strong, you're healthy, you're healing, you're healing every day. I just encourage you to have a look at your thoughts, become conscious of your thoughts and the choices that you're making and start to see how they're creating your life. And then when you can actually see what your thoughts are creating, it's way more motivation to actually change them. Once I became conscious of how my thoughts were creating my life and how many re repetitive experiences I was having, because I was having so many repetitive thoughts, I started to realize the power of changing those thoughts. And it took time, but it's the persistence, it's the diligence, it's the journey that actually grows our character and also the celebration that comes when you realize that you think in a completely different way and then your life starts to reflect your change in thinking and then when you change your thinking your life just gets better when you 
when you think better your life gets better so i'll leave it there have a beautiful australia day and i wish you all a beautiful amazing 2024 ahead and if you find in in the days to come that you have consciously realized the thoughts that are holding you back drop me in a comment below this live drop me in a comment be below the video and let me know and tell me what you're doing about it to change it that would be really exciting it would be really exciting to hear your journey anyway have a beautiful day happy australia day bye everyone